Oxfordshire District Council has voted against putting pressure on the government to review badger culling. Eight English counties currently have licences to cull badgers. It's meant to help curb the spread of TB in cattle, but the disease is still on the rise. The government has outlined plans to licence nine new areas, including Oxfordshire. Natalie Verney reports. Ineffective and inhumane, or a necessary evil, badger culling often splits opinion. It's part of the government's long-term strategy to stop the spread of bovine tuberculosis, something which farmers say is having a devastating impact on business, but campaigners say there's no proof culling badgers works. Well, all the independent scientific opinions suggest that we will never get rid of bovine TB by killing badgers, and we need actually to put measures in place that will help them. The government's own figures indicated that there was actually a 13% increase in the number of cases of cattle contracting bovine tuberculosis this year compared to the previous 12 months. So the situation it is simply cannot continue. In a statement, DEFRA says, Our approach is based on the best scientific evidence and data. The chief veterinary officer carries out a yearly assessment to ensure the culls remain safe, effective and humane. But badgers have people fighting their corner. I'm looking for signs of activity here. Um, you can tell because there's a lot of spoil, there's a lot of digging, that some of these are very fresh. So this one is an active hole. The Oxford Badger Group are worried if the licence is extended, badgers could become locally extinct. It's so important that we keep our badger population. We should be um, preserving it and protecting it rather than destroying it uh, for something which is going to basically have no effect on, on uh, TB and cattle. Last week, the county council decided to oppose the plans to licence Oxfordshire. It was hoped today's motion in West Oxfordshire would go a step further by writing to the Secretary of State, urging the government to halt the extension entirely until a review on how best to tackle bovine TB had been carried out. Natalie Verney, BBC South Today. Driver